Hey guys, it's Gary Dean, DetailJuice.com, and you guys know this channel is about a lot more than just detailing. It's about things I like to do. It's my life. It's the things that interest me and all of that. Behind me, we have my 2021 GMC Canyon. Let's flip you around. So, 2021 GMC Canyon. And the whole point of this video is in the uh, description. You'll notice there's no running board there. Um, I did a couple of days worth of research to figure out what I wanted to do. And as you see, there's none on the truck. They didn't come on the truck. But I wanted some running boards. Not because I needed an extra step, just because I think they look cool. So kind of what I did was I did a bunch of research on how much do the GM versions cost, which was almost 800, well actually it was over $800 after tax. So 800 bucks is what the uh, little step deals from GM. It has two steps that come down underneath each door. Um, and they're not as good of door ding protection meaning they're kind of tucked under a little bit and then there's little um, steps that come out there are two of them for the two doors and i just didn't like them i don't like the way they look they look too off-road to me and this is a two-wheel drive truck i i don't use trucks four-wheel drive i have no need for it here in florida um four-wheel drive is cool and all i just i just don't ever need it so i wasn't going to spend the money to get it and so well but beyond that dude, you couldn't buy this truck right now in four-wheel drive uh for msrp and i couldn't find it uh, there were no four-wheel drives to be found so i didn't want the off-road look i like the street truck look and what i mean by that is I don't want all kinds of beefy tires. I don't want to lift it. I don't want crazy suspension. If anything, I'd like to lower this thing, slam it on airbags and be able to raise it and lower it whenever I want and still have all the payload. I'm not going to do all that. It's a work truck. It's my daily slash work truck and I wanted some running boards. So what I did was I Google searched a bunch and I found this brand called Tiger Auto and uh, I have put one on already. That's the hardware for the other one. But this is what I bought. I ended up with the Tiger Rider. Um, that's the part number there. Um, it is these running boards with the brackets. And let me tell you something. I've already put the driver's side on. Uh, if you look at the instructions, they actually tell you to start with the driver's side. But let me tell you, first of all, my initial thoughts on the quality is absolutely out of this world they look good they feel good whether they hold up i don't know yet we're going to see so you got three brackets on each side you got two bolts on the top two bolts on the bottom that hold the actual running board on uh, you got all this hardware you're going to be pulling out eight grommets from the truck but uh here we go guys The truck looks awesome with these things. I mean, I think they look super good. It gives me that, see I was gonna go with the, uh, I forgot what they're called, I apologize. I'll actually put a comment in the uh, in the video. You can see I got, I'm doing some testing on this fender out there. That's why there's a random fender in the street. <laughs> um, so that's the box, the other side of the box, the other side is over there. But uh, these things look awesome. I'm really happy with them. It adds a little bit of a look to the truck that it didn't have before. It really fills in the gap there of the blacked outness, um, if you will. I am going to be, um, I'm going to probably Plasti Dip uh, the emblems on the sides there and then also in the back and in the front but these these things look awesome um i am going to run you through installation this one's all tight and on and adjusted properly they look great 
I'm very happy uh, with the look of them. Um, they seem pretty strong. I mean, it's great. Same mounting points as the um, the GM version, but so they should be nice. But anyway, this is the other one. Those are the other three brackets, and then that's all the hardware. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab, these are the bolts for the top of the brackets. These are uh, the deals you put in the holes, and I'm going to show you where they go right now. So I'll go ahead and grab one of the brackets. Um, you're going to use the first and second holes right here. All right. So we got all our hardware and we're underneath the truck. So this front um, plug here needs to come out. Uh, there's a bolt that goes in this, this area. A uh, probably a screwdriver would be easier, but I can get them out with hand. There's also one right here. So you're going to pull these two out just like that. And then for this particular truck, you're going to take the second one back out, not the third one. There's a third one there and then a fourth one down at the other end. You only use the three. So we'll pull that out. We'll pull that out. And then that leaves you access for the holes here. So we will take these deals here. Okay. And you want to come in, you want this end to be on the inside. I can't, I'm telling you, like, so these were like 189, I think. The GM version is 800 plus tax. I just couldn't get down with that. So I sought out the aftermarket and I came across a steal of a deal on these, I believe. So that's, that's what's up on that. So now you have anchor points for your bolts with your um, bracket. Put the bolt in this, this side and then, all right. All right. Here we go. Sorry, dropped you. All right, so I got the first one started. We got the bolt up in there. And then the next order of business is getting the second bolt in the bottom there. Okay, so we've got the top bolt in and we've got the bottom one started. So you want to leave these, I, I like to finger tighten them until the that lock washer starts to grab but leave them loose because uh you still got to mount that side onto the actual running board so i'm going to go ahead and put these in and the one back there in and i'll bring you back whenever i sit the running board on the deal and we start fastening this thing down okay so we have all our plugs out all our brackets on and these are the six bolts that basically hold the running board on cool part is we're gonna put two right there we're gonna put two right there we're gonna put two right there then we're gonna grab this bad boy out of here they're aluminum so they're su uh, i think they're aluminum they may be steel i'm not sure i'll have to get all that information um so basically the uh, brackets are cupped so you just sit them on there and then uh, before you go to town getting things tight or whatever you just make the proper adjustments where these are supposed to go get them hand tight once you get everything hand tight and adjusted that's when you crank everything down so we're basically finding our holes here, getting bolts started so that we can make the proper adjustments and make it straight and do all of that. Then we can crank it down. So the front's on, I'm gonna get those on and we'll be right back. Okay, 
so I have it all hand tight. Everything's on there properly. I like to get down. You want this to be level with the ground, so they look pretty good to me. I think that's pretty good. I think. Yeah, I mean. Yeah, it looks good to me. Looks flat. Looks good. So now you literally just go in and start tightening things up. Um, uh, I would tighten the top bolts up first and then make sure the bottom is still where you need it so you can still make any fine adjustments that you want to. Um, there's still maybe a quarter of an inch of thread left on every bolt on the top and on the bottom. So there's still play left. So I would bolt the top ones up for the brackets and then I would go back make sure this one is where you want it and then tighten those up so let me get that done we'll be right back all right my youtube family this has been a review of the tiger rider running boards as you can see i have them installed they look pretty awesome See the other side they look great um i don't know what happened uh it wasn't me i didn't drag i literally pulled it right out of the thing it looks like it's been drug a little bit at the factory or whatever but um i can tell you i'm really excited about what seems to be great quality here easy 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 installation really it wasn't anything complicated you've got eight bolts so i'm sorry you've got four bolts on each bracket four eight twelve twenty four bolts total total and you got everything installed um what i did after i got everything finger tight and mounted i tightened the back one then the front one then the middle one then i took a look at the angle in which uh, the running board was on and then i looked at the other side and i think they're about right i think they're about right on both sides yeah they look they look very very much the same on both um, and then when it came to adjusting the angle of the steps there um, I just tightened down one one bolt on this side one bolt on that side and that gave me what I was looking for to go ahead and tighten up the other three bolts so very happy with these tiger auto running boards very very happy with them gave me the look i wanted didn't break the bank and the quality and installation time was just really fantastic now i might try to buy more stuff i'm gonna go to tiger auto's website see what else they have for my canyon i'm i'm blown away that i could get something at at a quarter of the price of the factory stuff so if i wanted these well they're they don't look like these gm doesn't sell regular standard running boards like these which is what i wanted i wanted a very basic two-wheel drive street truck look not a lifted off-road look it's it's a two-wheel drive truck it's not an off-road truck i didn't want it to look like an off-road truck i'm not building an off-road truck i'm adding a few creature comforts to a truck that I want to drive so the cool part is they went on easy they were under 200 bucks the GM part is 800 plus I mean why why does it have to cost that much from GM I, like I don't get it they're a massive multi-billion dollar company and all their parts have to cost ridiculous amounts of money it is what it is I don't know um, but I'm very happy with the purchase. Uh, I, I couldn't be more happy, that's for sure. Um, so A++++ for me for value, 
um, quality materials and construction. Installation was a breeze. I did both sides in less than an hour. I mean, again, you can't ask for more than that. They look great. I'm sure they'll last. They get great reviews. The reviews are impeccable. And um, it's exactly what I wanted. So thank you guys for watching this video. Check out Gary Dean's Detail Juice Nation. It's a group on Facebook where we talk about only my products, my processes, and what I've got going on. So I know this wasn't a detailing review. It's a part to a car, which definitely goes along with my whole theme. Um, but there, there's going to be more part reviews for this 2021 GMC Canyon and probably the brand new 2022 Kia Carnival I just purchased for my wife. Um, but again, I couldn't be more happy. There's, it's not possible to be more happy than I am with all of everything that has to do with this Tiger Auto uh, running board thing. So thank you guys so much for watching. Um, ask me a question in the comments below. If you've got questions or comments, leave them there. But thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, have a great day. And uh, if you, if Tiger Auto has a part for your car that you'd like to try, I would tell you, do it. Because I'm very happy. Thank you so much. Have a great day.